Today we'll cover some helpful tips and tricks on how to utilize columns and hopefully speed up your design process. We'll go over some handy column hacks, explain when they're useful, and share additional best practices. Each main section of a page in Folion is called a block. The space inside of each block can be divided into subdivisions called columns. Here we see a block with four columns, including icons. But if we add a fifth column by duplicating one, we end up with a sizing inconsistency. This has to do with the responsive nature of the editor, and how the column spacing can't divide evenly with five columns. Our workaround for this is to create seven columns, and shrink the two on the ends down far enough to allow the five central columns to be the same size. With icon columns like this, it's important to keep the spacing consistent in each column to achieve a clean look. If your text line amount varies from column to column, you may want to vertically align your columns to top, so that they stay flush for a cleaner viewing experience. Here's another example of how to use columns. We can create a sleek index page by duplicating and rearranging these simple columns. Now let's quickly refine the spacing for this block on tablet and mobile. Before returning to desktop to duplicate this block to flesh out the rest of this index page. When working with overview columns like this black and white template block, there's a few things to consider. Since image elements need to fill the sides of the column, column spacing cannot be used to pad your text elements. Internal text element spacing must be used instead. If your images aren't aligning in the columns, remember that they need to be cropped to the same shape or aspect ratio. This can be done by using the presets we have in the Media Library's Cropped tool. As a best practice, you can also create spacing between columns for the smaller view modes by adjusting the bottom border of the column settings. Another quick tip we have is that columns can be rearranged. Their colors can be adjusted or inverted to create some variety in your page designs. These column tips and their applications are sure to come in handy for designing catalog pages, feature blocks, overview pages, or to break up long text reads with data or icon sections, like for a report or a white paper. I hope these tips come in handy while you're creating your Folian docs. We can't wait to see what you create.